All right, welcome back, everyone. I am Brian. You records and notes nation. We are joined today with a special guest, Frosty from the Frosty Pepper. Go check out that YouTube channel. He's got some things there to say. Hopefully, on Rumble soon too. You know, I haven't yeah. figured that beast out yet. You know, I, I I've gotten I got one video on there like a year ago. Okay. And I tried again. I was having trouble, but it felt like I could figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how that works. Yeah, it's a little less user friendly than YouTube, but. But it's viable. Yeah. Oh, it it's indeed definitely is. viable. It indeed yeah. is. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, Tom McDonald. You've heard of him. I've just started listening and reacting. This will be the fifth song. Yeah. Oh, um, he's been a cultural force for a couple of years, I think, at least. That I've known of him. Okay. Being out there, being a voice for sanity in the world. Okay. Yeah. Just like you are. Yeah, well, <laughs> you too, right? Yeah. Hopefully. That's the best be. we can do. Um. So this was put up on, you can find this original one on his channel, the Tom McDonald channel, three years ago, 27 million views. Wow. Hopefully our reaction to this gets that or more. I'm sure it will. We would hope yeah, so, yeah. eventually, mm -hmm. before we die. Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> on fire over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, have a seat here in my living room. I've invited you over to enjoy this with me and Frosty. And uh, we will give you a raw, honest, and unedited reaction at all times. Okay? Please like, subscribe, and share. That helps grow the channel. That will get Mr. McDonald more exposure, as if he needs more. Yeah, but give Tom McDonald love. Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. Absolutely. And if you guys want to show this channel more love, check out the description box below for ways to support the channel, for my Patreon, for my merch store. And uh, you ready? I'm ready. All right. No lives matter. I'm going to have to crank this up a little bit. You ready, Frosty? Yep. You want to close captions or no? Sure. Okay. Hip hop diet is full of guys who cannot even rap. Facts. Media dividing us by colors, white or black. Facts. If you believe in Jesus, these days Christians get attacked. Facts. If you don't hate the least, then everybody thinks you're white. And everything's so connected. Black lives matter got so aggressive. White folks who agree can't support the message. Both sides go to war because they don't respect it. Our social climate from the global tension turned to total violence and a whole depression. We can unify and then I'll go against them, but we let them divide us with votes and elections. Hey, the music we bump. All about shooting guns and doing drugs. Hey, whoa. The things that we want are promoted subliminally through the songs like You need a fast car. You need designer clothes. You need a rap star to tell you to start popping pills at the blunt and go live at the club to your bro. It's all controlled by the elites. Put fake news all over our screens. Convincing the right to go fight with the left and distract from the fact it's each other we need. Uh, divided by race and religion. Segregated into teens. Uh, you're a white supremacist. If you're not, I guess you ain't teeth. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Screaming from the rooftops. Beat down better. dead if you have an opinion take it back Facts. people hate the president if you don't then you trash and doctor the nation using news and mainstream rap the government abuses us it's all part of the plan and it's so confusing black lives matter is a valuable movement but all lives matter ain't racist or stupid it's not black humans who don't feel included all colors fall under laws to govern the whole country and we all suffer we're all broke and nobody recovers until we accept that we're all brothers hey music we make all about big booties and getting paid. Hey, whoa. We watch the news and it fills up our brains with violence and riots and race. Like, this is a race war. You need to hate more. Get what you came for. You need some songs about Xanax and violence so you can escape more. What a vicious cycle we can break away from. They control the culture. They control the paper. They're indoctrinating a whole generation till the patriots start to hate the nation. The music we mm. love make us dumb and addicted. The news that we watch is that brainwashing the children. Line. The virus is riots and racist conditions ain't problems. They're symptoms of life in the system. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other now, no lives matter. If we do what the news wants, blood don't splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter. The music will make you dumb, the media makes you hate, and they control them both. The rain no escape. They put the world in a state of chaos. Economy crashing and massive layoffs. Black against white or it's left versus right. Divide and conquer and control is to pay all. Screaming from the rooftops, beat down better. Turn us on each other. Fighting each other, but we're not fighting them. If we do what the news wants, blood don't splatter. Turn us on each other till no lives matter.
Hey, hey. I gotta stop it there. I dig it. Otherwise, it just kicks right into the next I video. Can. That's how, from our generation, the rappers used to wear their hats like this. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how they do it now. <laughs> you want? Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. Just, just, just a little bit. Hello, yeah. fellow homies. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Hey, we're just doing it out of love, folks. Um, yeah, go ahead. So I uh, here's here's the problem that I have with messages like this. Okay, is the fact that I've got nothing to say because they said it all. That's part of it. Yep. You know. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is like. All right, so it, it, it brought me back to a lot of the feelings I had when the movement started, though. Right. I don't know if we want to go too far into that. Well, but I, I think I, we I remember one of my first, like, misanthropic thoughts was, no life's matter. Right. Like, and that's not what we teach in this culture. Right. Well, why, why is this being? And pl plus, by saying black lives matter, you're implying that we don't think they matter. Right. I'm not going along with that. Right. I think they do matter. I never you know, thought they did. It. Here's, here's the thing. And, and, Maybe it's a little bit because where we live is mm -hmm. such a... It's a good place. It is. And it's not to say that there isn't disparity, that there aren't things going on. We just don't see it yeah, out on no. the streets. Yeah. We don't see yeah, it, you know. Live just far enough um, away from... And there, I think there's diversity here, mm -hmm. you know. There is. Maybe yeah. not as much as in other places, but, but there's there's, diversity. there's enough that we grew up with it. Absolutely. 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 Very comfortably. Yeah. I mean, our generation grew up on Sesame Street. Oh, my God. I just keep going back to that. I was thinking the other day, like, when I first learned about racism, I think I was in fifth grade, yeah. and I didn't believe it. I did not believe they were telling me a true thing, that they said people hate each other because of races. Right. I grew up on Sesame Street. It was as different as, like, hating someone for blonde hair or red hair or brown hair or blue eyes. or It, it, it did not make sense to me. So did you ever see things happen in life that were based on race or based on any other kind of inequality. Do you know what I mean? Um, not really. Um, I don't know. Can you break that down? Well, here, let me put it from my perspective. <sighs> you're right. We were when when you when you're young and and you're raised, you don't know anything about yeah. the differences between people. Yeah. Until some sort of influence comes in and says, this exists, and starts indoctrinating you to that. My eyes never saw the only kind of, maybe the only kind of violence or, or, or crimes or anything that I saw was more from an economic standpoint mm -hmm. than it was from a racial standpoint. Okay? Now, does that mean it doesn't exist? No, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I would say there's a lot more economic disparity. I just don't yeah. see what yeah. they're trying. The, the the cultural tension, I've never felt that. I've never felt that at and, all. And, and I lived for 10 years outside of the Twin Cities, and we had a fair amount of gang activity. Yeah. And it was, I mean, maybe not commonplace, but it was starting to feel like it. Right. Um, I was talking about the early 90s. So race was a, a, like a... a background factor to it all it was much more we looked at it culturally like growing up with mainly white people in this area i did not experience racist people i really didn't right I, i've run into a number of them as an adult that will let an inappropriate word slip here and there yeah and it's just like but other than that like it's like the whole press for black lives matter it's like you're saying i don't think they do how dare you Mm -hmm. How dare they try something like that? It's, you're trying to damn a whole part of the culture by saying you better think they matter. Well, sorry. they're doing exactly what they're accusing others of doing. Yeah, and, you know? and, and plus, I, I'm not sure, looking at a lot of the uh, unsteadiness of uh, big cities, um, the problems that they face, they, do you really think they care a lot about their neighbor? I think a lot of those problems exist because of the policies that are in place sure. that are designed to create that inequality. It's, it, and it's designed to create it, tensions. It perpetuates it's, it's, it. Yep. Yep. And, uh, yep. And, and what they're doing is they verbally kick the blame back on that's the natural state of, of humanity that we're, you know, it's a race thing. It's that. No, because what I've seen more in my life, not that there isn't tension, not that there isn't these sort of things, but these sort of things aren't as prevalent 
as they tell us they are. There's okay. jerks out there. Exactly. In every exactly. facet of life. And so when I when I listen to this, and when I and let's we need to continue on with his message here. Um, what I'm what I'm doing is I'm I'm agreeing. Everything that he's saying is like ultimately this. This stuff is generated through propaganda in order to get us to not care about anyone. Yeah. Okay. Um, and for whatever reason, those behind that kind of propaganda for a very long time have targeted uh, the African Americans. Yeah. As this is this is the group that we're going to victimize and demonize at the same time. And it's like, dude, really? Because you know what? I see nothing but love and goodness around here. And we're not in an ideal situation. Mm -mm. We're not. No. Okay. Mm -mm. I've never met somebody. Um, <clears throat> I've had black friends, Asian friends. And either way, thing. that's that's overtly. I've been around people who, as children, bought into the whole racial thing. Mm -hmm. and, they, and they were, there's a coming race war. There's a coming race war. Yeah, but, you know. No, no, Charles Manson was saying that in the late sixties. <laughs> but how much of this is, is what they want us to think? Is what they want us to think exactly. that people are buying yeah. into it and promoting the lie. Yeah, so I didn't feel it in reality. No, growing up. No, I again, we're, we're not saying it doesn't exist because there probably are areas where there is a lot of tension and stress right. and, and and essentially to desire to want to throw away the baby with the bathwater. But is it ubiquitous? I don't think, I don't think it is. Uh -huh. I don't think it is. And how much of it is is generated rather than a natural state of our existence? That's a good question. So I wonder how much is like naturally it naturally happens when a corrupt system is taken over by corrupt people. I look at it this way. If we want the answer to that, you put a bunch of babies from a bunch of different ethnicities together. Mm -hmm. Are they gonna start segregating themselves? No. Are they going to start hitting each other? Because it's the natural state of things is to be innocent. It's the natural state of things. So all of this is generated through corruption, propaganda, corruption, yeah. greed, propaganda, yeah, and and, and un, like wanting to dig up the skeletons of the sins of our past. So then, so then, so then, if we're going to amplify that stuff in order to promote what we're saying already exists, which is just nothing but perpetuating the cycle, what is the best way to stop that cycle? You start saying something. Stop buying into the lies. Yeah, yeah. Stop buying into the lies. Oh, and also back, backing up that, that I believe our country has some nobility to it. I think it was founded with some noble purpose and noble reasons. Um, and to condemn a country because of the sins of our past is not fair. It's not fair to an individual and it's not fair to a country. By the time the Constitution was ratified in 1781, nine. 89, 89 um, nine of the 13 colonies had abolished slavery. Yeah. We were on the way. Let's... We were on the way. And here we're going to go into something else completely because a lot of people, we've got this focus on slavery with, with, with you know, again, you know... But, it's about, but it's, it's about condemning without understanding with nuance. That's exactly you know? right. Okay, so 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 who went into the interior of Africa to grab those slaves? Mm -hmm. Other African tribes. Yes. People have enslaved each other for a long time, regardless of race. Yeah, that's just the way it was. The the human the, the human, human nature. Conquer. Human nature is brutal. And so to amplify it on on race, I mean, I get it because you've got the white Europeans coming over here. But you know what? The 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 Native Americans were doing that to themselves yes, too. They were. They would conquer yep. other tribes and they would kill the men and take the women and and, and the mind and Aztecs would take them for human sacrifice. Exactly. So so well, there's not, evil abounds. Hey. Let him who without sin cast the first stone. Indeed. Right. And, and like, I was taught from my World War II grandpa that the arc of history bends towards good. And I've always believed that, and I still do. And I, I see that in the American, the founding of America. I see that through the process of the Civil War. I see it through the process of the 20th century. And now it's falling apart. So what do you think of his delivery? Fantastic. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. I've seen you know, he reminded me a little bit of NF. The way that he was singing and how he would punctuate with, uh, who? yeah, NF. He's he's a he's another uh, rapper who um, I think he focuses more on on the internal mental health 
struggles that he's had throughout life. Mm -hmm. But he's, um, people call him a Christian rapper, which he doesn't focus on, if he is, he doesn't focus on his relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. He focuses more on, on what's, what's been going on. Real fascinating individual. Um, and he does, there are some songs where he brings God into it, but uh, it's not overt that way. But he's he keeps it real. He keeps it like truth. There's truth in his message. Mm -hmm. There's truth in Tom McDonald's message. There's truth in Samson's message. Yep, There's truth in Wren's message. Yep. Okay. There are some differences of opinion mm -hmm. about, you know, like we saw, we watched off camera that, that Wren video, Crucify Your Culture. Mm -hmm. We didn't agree with a certain thing or two in it, but it overall, yeah, it was great. he was, he identified the problem yeah. mm -hmm. spot on. Yep. And so you have a lot of these independent artists that are out there. These are the ones that need the voice because do, yeah. the machine is shutting those voices down because it doesn't resonate they, the they, same message. They're out there fighting for an intellectual battle yeah. to keep kind of a tradition alive. Yeah. So the support these artists. Conservative ideals and outlooks alive. You know, even even just truth. Yeah. We well, don't have to label truth as conservative. I can put it. But truth more on the conservative side. Well, yeah. right, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's just let's let's focus on truth, well, because I think that's where the real battle is coming down to nowadays. It it's it's truth versus the lie. Yeah. What are you going to believe? Yeah, you know. And, and now that now that people have their own truths, that's, oh, a, that, that, that's a battle. Well, that's that's a lie from the lie. It is. Let's it is. distort the truth and yeah. say truth is relative. That truth is relative. That is not a good no. thing. Truth. It's absolute. It's it a dangerous either, philosophy. It either is yep. true or it is untrue. It's like math. Yep. Either yep. the answer is this or it's not this. If good is relative, that's all trust we have. Are we going to get into a day where math is wrong? If we are, then I'm going back to all of my old school teachers and saying, listen, I need 100% on every yeah, single... Suck that, man. <laughs> because you guys really... Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they get participation points now. Well, you didn't, you didn't carry this and you didn't do yeah. this over... You didn't yeah, we needed to figure it out the right way to yeah. get the right answer. So yeah. unfair. Yeah. So unfair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nowadays, you get it wrong. It's, it's all right. You can yeah. try. Right. Can try. So... All right, cool. That's all we have. That's all we have for this one. But uh, peace out. Thanks for joining me, Frosty. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Amen.